okay, don't tell the kids, but we're gonna get some chickens. Um, we're allowed three, so Diane and I were talking, and I, we think we're ready. So, we're not ready. <laughs> we need a coop. Uh, we need a place to store them before we can get anything. So, I'm going to, I'm in the shop today, I'm gonna start building a coop uh, for these chickens. Um, and we got a bunch of old pallets, um, some pretty good ones actually, so that's what's gonna be my base. Um, there's the rest of the supplies so far. I've got more lumber out in the stockpile, I guess I call it, um, for that. Diane's gone to a uh, somewhere. I forget now where she's at, but anyway, she'll be back soon. But she's gonna park somewhere else. Bay's open. Just tear apart some pallets. Before I get started, I'll bring it over here. This is a pretty good pallet here. It's pretty good shape. There's a little bit of a crack over in this one. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyway, it's too wide. So what I'm gonna do? Move it over here. Is I'm gonna cut it some around here. I gotta measure it out, obviously, but I want it about three feet wide total. So the inside is gonna be about 30 inches wide. The pallet's four feet, so I gotta cut it back a little bit, and then uh, I'll show you what I what I did. But I'm gonna try to dismantle this as little as possible, and uh, we're gonna try to make this easy and inexpensive. There are three chickens; they don't they're not expecting much. So here we go. there you have it um, not completely but that's that's the width right so all I did went 30 inches because that's the width I wanted and then cut it all I'm gonna do the same thing to the pallet over in the corner there um, and uh, make, I'm gonna make it six feet long so you guys don't need to see all that so I'm gonna I'll pause here I'll do all that stuff and I'll show you the end result Last year, this is the cutoff piece I'm not going to use, but I need I need this two by four um, for the for the frame. So I got to take all this stuff off. If I'm careful, it's all nailed in. It's a freaking pallets now. Um, if I'm careful, I could get them out, and they're actually usable length, so I might keep them for another project. I might even use them for this one. I don't know. Um, but uh, if they crack, I'm not going to worry about it because I need firewood anyway. So. I'll get the old uh, pry bar out and see if I can salvage this two by four to uh, to use it for the for the coop. Not too bad. Having advice really helps, but there you go. Reusable two by four. It's got these little slots in it, sure, but whatever. We got another one to do. Then we'll see if we can see if we can put them all together. This is day two now today. Um, I got sidetracked. I got other stuff going on, so I didn't get back videotaping when I get back into this, but. This is what I got done yesterday. Um, floors down. Um, basically took those two crates, uh, two pallets from yesterday. Cut them. I took the rest of it apart. And got a stack of which is like two bundles like this. It was just pretty, re pretty usable wood. So anyway, so today's goal, or today's whatever, it's, it's a goal, I guess. Um, 
is to put two sides on, put the rest of the walls up. Um, I'm still deciding on the pitch of the roof because I don't want to cut off too much of the of the space inside. So we're going to do that today. Um, it's getting heavy, so I think framing it is as much as I'm going to do in the shop, and then I got to put it back, put it out where it's going to go. Um, and then finish it up because once it's all done, it's going to be too heavy to move, um, which is fine. But I want to get it in place first, so we'll frame it in. Uh, then tomorrow I'll have some more have some help here. I'm here by myself today, so um, I'm going to do this, get it out of the way, so that Diane can practically escape in here when she gets home, and uh, and uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. Day two. Okay, this is a few days after the last video uh, section, but uh, Mother Nature has decided to remind us who's in charge and things have become very cold again. So um, I'm gonna make this, this part pretty quick, but I wanted to just to update, you can see down here, here we go. So this is the two by four that I cut out and I took all the pieces off. There's another one down there. Um, so this is the original pallet. This is the extra piece where I cut off and, there so it's it's actually 30 inches fully across I ended up being being able to do a flush wall here so um, pretty sturdy um, pretty heavy chickens gonna uh, knock these uh, this over um, so from here I'm gonna block it in uh, not block it in I'm just gonna like wall it in uh, I'll use plywood on the back and uh, up on the roof here too up on the roof there too here up, up here I decided on just a little bit of a pitch there. Um, here, I'll turn the camera around. Yeah, that's better. So now you can, yeah, you can see the, just a little bit of a pitch. It sits underneath the fence line, on top of the fence, the neighbor's fence. So, and then we're gonna put a netting over top of that. So we should be, we should be good as far as not being too obtrusive. Um, and this will be the door here. Ooh, oh, there um, uh, obviously, I got the pallets from Loot Stimmer Mart. Thank you, Loot Stimmer Mart. Um, so I'm thinking like a Dutch door. So there'll be uh, a door in the bottom, a door in the top, and then the roof will lift over. So then we can just walk right in, walk right in, and then we'll have to back down. Go in there. So from here I'll just wall it in. Um, I wanted to show the framework. Now these 4x4s are going to come in handy I think. Uh, I left them on. This is just one pallet there. Um, and uh, I think they'll come in handy because I, I need to put um, nesting boxes up and I think they'll be a good thing to bolt into. So there you go. Still lots to do but she's framed in now so I wanted to just take a little video to show that. Cool, myshop.com. Subscribe, follow along. Still got lots of work to do.